So as you guys know, Axie Infinity just released its new balancing changes. This is the buffer period before Season 20. Season 20 is actually going to be releasing in about two weeks from now. So at January 31st, maybe February 1st. Again, I am in America right now on the East Coast. So maybe this date is slightly different for you depending on where you are in the world. But we're going to do things just a little bit different. We're going to be going over the cards that are going to be most affected by the balance changes. You can always just read off the screen right here, right now, what cards are being changed and then make your own decisions off that. But I'm going to be going over what I think the biggest changes are and the cards that are getting buffed that are going to become meta and the ones that are going to be nerfed and that are going to fall off. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so the first change I want to go over is actually the first one on here. It's Gravelant. This is the most obvious change that we are all expecting. Honestly, it didn't even get nerfed that much. Um, the stats are still going to be the same, which is completely fine. But the description changes changes a little bit more. It's now going to disable the melee cards when comboed with another card. So Gravel Ant now goes from just disable and target melee round by just using by itself to now needing a pair up with another card. This is a pretty good change. It's not going to kill the card like if you made it uh, apply with a bug card or a plant card or something like that like other cards are. It's going to make it more skill based which is going to be great for the community. As this card was just played by itself and some cards were all melee based and it could literally do nothing and then you could just troll your opponent for infinity. So it's really, really good to see this change. All right, the next one we're going to go to is Hair. It changes its stats from 120 attack to 115 attack and the shield drops from by 10 from 30 down to 20. So Hair here, uh, the description still says the change to the utility still there on the card. So I really don't think Hair is going anywhere. So a small nerf was needed it got it i still think it's gonna be very very strong so it's not gonna really go anywhere so the next change is pretty big for a lot of scholars that i know that are running double anemone this is a pretty big nerf the attack drops by 10 going from 80 down to 70 and the shield goes down by five on both anemone cards so you have the back of it as well as the front on the card so pretty big change here I definitely think we're going to be seeing a lot less of the anemone cards, which is good because they were pretty low skill. If you just play four anemones, you're basically invincible. Even if a beast is attacking you, you're going to survive and do quite a lot of damage with the healing. I think it was just such a strong card. So this is a good change. We definitely will see less of these aquas, but we're going to see a lot more of other aquas, which we'll get into a bit later on. All right, so the next one, one of my favorite cards, Eggshell, is going to get a slight nerf, just going from 120 damage down to 110. I really don't think this changes a whole lot for Eggshell. It still has that huge utility, which none of the other bird cards in its class really give you. The only one that I could really see taking over maybe is Trump or um, the headshot as well. So we'll have to see, but I still think Egg Bomb is going to be used in the meta. I still think it's going to be everywhere because comboed with Blackmail is just such a good card. So we interrupt your scheduled video to remind you, you should subscribe and like the video to help me out a lot. Now let's get back to the video. So the next one we're going over is Bone Sale. The Axie team really doesn't like this card. It's already received a rework and a nerf, and now it's getting another nerf. Uh, but basically it's fixing a bug where playing two Bone Sales Having a broken shield only resulted in one drawing of a card, which that's a good change. So now you'll get the two cards if you play two or three, if you play three. Kind of like how Pumpkin, if you uh, get that Pumpkin card and your shield doesn't break, if you have two Pumpkins, you get two cards. It also gets a slight nerf. The attack and the shield both drop down to 70. So again, Ivory Chopper, Bone Sail, still going to be in the meta, I think. It doesn't really change a whole lot. Still has a lot of good utility. I mean, like Tri Spikes, again, this allows you to combo over... And, you know, Green Thorns has been making a pretty good comeback as well. So we'll see how much this affects this card, but I still think it's going to be pretty good in the meta. So now we have a two for one. Pinsir and Parasite both getting a little nerf here. This was completely expected as the discard meta was pretty brain dead. It was very easy to play. You just spam all your discard cards and you win the game for the most part. Pinsir will stay at the exact same. No stats are going to change. Parasite, though, is going to drop by 10 damage. So this is a very good change, having to play it with another card. Again, it's not class-specific, so you don't have to use bugs or anything like that for this um, card combo. But now it makes it so if you just draw one card at the start on one axe, you cannot use it. 
So that means your opponent can have a chance to actually have some cards. So it makes it way more skill oriented, I guess, or luck based to be able to have to draw two cards instead of just being able to play it anytime you felt like it. So great change there. I still think these two cards will be very, very popular, but not as OP as they were. So that takes care of all of the nerfs that we see that are pretty important and impactful. All the other ones don't really do too much. So now we're going to go into the kind of mid section. It's not nerfed, not buffed, somewhat of a rework. So Scrab here, um, not changed in the stats, but now it's considered a true debuff. So, you know, Scarab or Scarab, however you say it, you know, it's going to affect, you know, Blackmail, Sun Armor, and Mints. They could become more popular because now they can transfer that over with Blackmail. You can transfer it over if you're hit with it, which, you know, it's going to be hitting a Bird card most likely, or Bird Axie. So I don't really see that being too much of a problem. But again, it's still possible now. So, you know, a slight rework. This card's still going to be very good. So I don't think it's going anywhere either unless the Bug class just dies out and, you know, this falls with it. All right, so now we have Sponge. It gets a nice little buff and a slight change so the Growback Shields can't trigger the buff again. I think that's a really good change. It does get a buff here. It goes from 60 damage to 70 and 90 shield to 95. So again, Shipwreck or Sponge, pretty good card. Again, I'm telling you, the Aquas besides the Double Anemone are going to be getting a lot better here in this update. So they could be starting to replace those God Mechs, which I still think are going to be God tier <laughs> as they are. So... We'll see if uh, beasts start to get nerfed a little more and mechs and dusk and all those guys, you could see aquas take over the meta. And as far as acro and little branch, little branch, literally nothing changes. It was just a typo they're changing and the acro, the stats just dropped from 50 shield down to 45. So nothing really big there at all. So these are kind of neutral. So now, like I was saying in the earlier part of the video, aquas in itself are getting a lot of love here. Risky fish, star, catfish a lot of these aqua cards are just getting some buffs so again look out you could be seeing them start to creep back in the meta a little bit more again i thought that aqua meta a few seasons ago was pretty pretty fun to play around but you know may not be seeing the double aqua anemone combo as much but it could be seeing the aqua as a midliner you know plant aqua bird or something along those lines so just be on the lookout for that all right, so now we have Lagging. This is one of those zero-cost cards that I didn't really think needed a buff. Zero-cost cards, you know, are pretty good as they are. But, you know, the Termi at the low elo is just getting a little bit stronger, going from 30 attack to 35. It still applies that speed down for two rounds, which is just so much utility for a zero-cost card. This is why um, kind of com confused a little bit on why i got some love but then again it's only used in a termy build for the most part so maybe trying to fit it into a couple more uh axes classes could be their reasoning behind that all right the next one here i think should have probably been in the uh rework section as well silent whisper no stat changes but it goes from healing the front teammate for just 190 hp to 120 hp and there's no teammates in front it heals the axie instead um so this is the card here again the old stats was just heal the teammate in front for 190. i still think this card is not going to be seen much at all again how often do you have a plant card behind uh, a front axie, rarely ever unless it's another plant. So I think Rosebud or Healing Aroma is just a better card because you get 10 more shield for the exact same healing. Again, 120 on both, even though this says 190, it hasn't updated. So yeah, I still think this card isn't going to be used, especially because the plant axie mouths are just so good as they are right now, especially with Sirius and Zigzag, even though Zigzag got a slight nerf. All right, this is one that I'm not even mad about because this is one of the cards that I personally love. I just have never been able to use it. Tiny Dino. Gets a slight little love bump. Goes from 88 damage to 85. Again, Tiny Swing, Tiny Dino. Hasn't received a ton of love, but again, if it's a midliner, it's most likely surviving after round four. But with the other tail cards in the Reptile class, you know, it hasn't been seeing as much love. But again, I already think this card is pretty strong. So getting another little small buff could make it meta, which I'm excited to see. Moving down the list, we have Cloud as well, going from a 100 damage up to 110. And the shield dropping off from 50 down to 40. Um, again, this is a decent change. You know, Cloud is not meta. It has a lot of, uh, you know, value and utility. It skips targets in last stand. But I still think, you know, post fight is going to still be that dominant 
tail trait for birds. So I don't still see this cloud being used yet, but maybe a post fight gets a small nerf, maybe it does 100 damage or something like that, then you could see cloud really take over. Moving down the list a little more, we have Potato Leaf getting a small buff from 70 damage all the way up to 80 damage, still keeps the shield exactly as 80-80. Again, with Aquas, I think coming more and more into the meta, this could be a nice little outplay card, maybe on your front plant. Uh, so if it has, you know, like 50 HP left, you know, it gets an 80 shield just in case another plant uses like spicy surprise hot butt on it. The Aquas that are the midliners or the backliners, you know, skip that and maybe they'll attack, you know, your midliner and it won't kill it. And it's kind of a waste of a turn. So outplay potential. So a small little buff for it, making it just a little more viable. Again, the stats on it are pretty good. You know, you're going to get 160 total attack and um, defense combined. And you still get a little bit of utility. So good card, good change. So I'm excited to see if it pops into the meta. And the last one I want to hit on is Caterpillar. So Caterpillar gets a pretty big change from 100 damage all the way up to 110. And the shield also goes up by 10. I think this is honestly a good card as it is right now, just because of Parasite being in the meta taken away from Caterpillars. I'm I'm curious to see if Parasite falls out. I feel like Caterpillars could be one of the most OP cards in this season 20. So it's getting a damage buff as well as a shield buff. It's gonna do over 170, you know, total combined utility there, and it applies feel fear to shielded targets. So again. Watch out for Caterpillars. This could be making a huge, huge comeback in the meta here. So anyways, that about rounds out the list here. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to slap a thumbs up on it. Subscribe it really helps me out a lot. Some also small changes here. Just, you know, crit damage just gets capped out in PvE at 200%. And the skill changes just a little bit tweaked. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you all in the next one. Have a great, lovely day. Peace.